All right, what's up, YouTube? People, fans, like we even have any. <laughs> uh, we are going into Walmart right now to get the Warheads for the 150 Warhead Challenge. Not looking forward to it. That's yeah. right, we're doing it. Uh, as you can tell, no camera guy for this, you know, no camera guy today, but whatever. I'm confident. Hey, how y'all doing? Uh, so yeah, let's do this. We're going into Wally World. So we totally, uh, there's a dude picking in the trash behind me here at Walmart. But we couldn't, we couldn't find the Warheads at Walmart. What a shame. Right? So oh. we are going to the mall. As you can see, did not have the Warheads at the mall. So we're going to the Dollar Tree. I don't know if I can put that up, but whatever. We're going. Not the right shit. Right, well, Ryan's being fascinated by the hula stuff. There are no warheads in the Dollar Tree. Holy shit. What's up, man? People think I'm fucking weird right now. When, when Dixie, here we are. Not a Win Dixie. What's up, YouTube? Couldn't find the 150 warheads. Found like, you know, two bags of 15. Uh, that's only 30 total. It would be, you know, 15 each. And that's stupid. We're not gonna rob you guys of that. We'll do it again, just at a later date. Ryan hates me for saying that right now. I'm getting ready to get shit-faced so I can answer your stupid fucking questions because I think I need it. You guys already hate me, don't you? It's okay, I hate myself. So for every one of your stupid questions, I'm going to be taking three shots of honey and bourbon and or this vodka that you see here. Our first question is from Brittany. How do I get to Narnia? Well, Brittany, that, that's a very interesting question. First, you get on Google and you take a right, then you go straight down Yahoo. Uh, you take a left on YouTube, and then you find yourself eventually at Pornhub, and that's where Narnia is. Next question, also from Brittany. How many videos do you guys have total? Oh, hold on. It's, I only did one shot. I got to oh. do two more. <laughs> that's some good stuff. Give me a minute. Give me a minute. That just turned the stomach a little bit. He's all right. I'm He's fine. Right. I'm a professional drinker. Don't forget, folks. Liquor before beer. Oh, this is gonna be a long Q and A, fellas. We might have to break out the hose. How many videos do you guys? We've have had little? 17 videos. Watch them. And there you have it. Thank you, Brittany. I Blake already. Okay. Man, I'm starting to regret this already. This was a bad idea. Okay, next question from Nicholas Keys. Yeah. Why do you want me to ask you something? Where do you come up with this stuff? You got this. Okay. I don't know if it's the vodka making me sick or the stupid fucking questions. Ask another one. Okay, from Nicole Nichols. Are any humans actually harmed in the making of your videos? Really? Did you watch Russian Roulette? Max isn't here with us. What does that tell you? Okay, next question is also from Nicole. Where is Marmoset Island? Very good one, Nicole. Uh, I'm curious myself. Marmoset Island is in Antarctica. Uh, in 1973. I can't believe, oh man. YOLO, am I right? When will the Rapist album finally drop? Or when can I download it on iTunes? 
Uh, it's got a couple months to come out. Um, gotta do a few more tracks for it, but I can tell you it is titled White Pepper Bitches, and it will be on iTunes. That's right. Is flavored helium real? Actually, that's how I got so addicted to uh, helium. Uh, first, I went with the lemon flavor. Uh, then, after that, was strawberry. And then, after that, was uh, chocolate bitch flavor that just really got me. And I couldn't get away from it. Hmm. And, uh, I struggled. But, you know. And, uh, what came first, the apple or the seed? You're, that was a stupid question. That, that, that's supposed to be a chicken and an egg. No one asked that question. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay. And why is the angry orchard so angry when because, it's so yummy? You know why? Because it's not yummy, and it was lied to and told that it was, and I would be angry for that too. Thank you, Nicole. Yeah, whatever. We don't really appreciate your questions. Was Glitter Farts purely fictional, or was it based on personal experiences? Glitter farts happen. There just so happened to be a camera there. That was... It's very true. Yeah. And, uh, in fact, I think I, I, I still find glitter in places like my anus and my eardrums. Also from Valerie, what exactly is the function of a rubber duck? Actually, that is quite interesting, Valerie. The function of a rubber duck was unknown until about 15 years ago when a cargo ship was destroyed in the Pacific Ocean due to really bad weather. Ever since then, scientists have been actually monitoring these rubber duckies for the water flow in the Pacific and Atlantic Oceans. Pretty soon, we'll see some washing up on the shores of Kansas City. Keep your eyes peeled. This question is from Vanessa. Where do sea monkeys come from? Uh, Wayne Brady. I'm telling you, look it up, Wayne Brady. This next question is from Tim. Tim! What's up, my man? You can see how enthusiastic he is. I haven't seen you in a minute! When? Yeah, what's up? When is the yep. next workout? When are you going to find me a drill instructor, homie? Ho, ho! What? Okay, this next question is from Eldon. Shoemaker. That would be Showmaker. Uh, Ellen Shoemaker. It's Showmaker. Uh, is, is the third wheel blues based on reality? I don't know. Do you make shoes, sir? Yes. The answer is yes, you make shoes. You make lots of shoes, and I'm wearing some right now, and guess what? They're comfortable. You must have made them. It's because you made them good, sir. Thank you. Our next question or should I say series of questions, is from Zach Johnson. Bring it on. Are Oof. most kidnappings due to sexy kids or just satanic rituals? What the fuck are you smoking, Zach? Seriously? Satanic rituals. I, I mean, I've seen one one time. It was... Uh, cut. Can you cut that? Do you think a Warhead flavored... An edible anal plug would sell? I don't know. Why don't you patent it and find out? I might buy one. And also from Zach, why am I so many different races? I don't know who to be sometimes. Well, Zach, I would answer that, but I love your mom too much. Boom. Also from Zach, if you could pick another name for baloney and rename it, what would it be? Process Meat Wheels! This next question is from Michael Sermon. Who's that handsome guy in the helium vid? I have no idea who you're talking about. You okay? I'm fine, dude. Good. This question is from Molly. How did Ryan and Scott meet, and what's the funniest thing you've done together? We met at a hot dog stand. I was paying way too much for him for the hot dogs, and uh, he taught me that if you just go inside the store and buy bologna, which is ironic because we were just talking about baloney. And fry it up on the frying pan, it tastes just like hot dogs, and we've been friends ever since. Also from Molly, if there was ever a movie 
about your life, Robert Scott. Who would play you? Who would play Molly? And who would play your mom, your dad, and Ryan? Uh, Robert Donahue Jr. would play me. Uh, the singer Jewel would probably play Molly. Uh, what was the rest of the question? Who would play your mom, your dad, and myself? I don't know, but I know Chris Farley would probably play you. Next question by Mike Kanaki. Robert Scott, why are you the one that always gets sprayed by the odd fluids? What kind of question is that, bro? I thought you were a mechanic. I thought, thought you get uh, sprayed by odd fluids all the time. Next question is from Annie Atkinson. Hi, Annie. Where do the ideas from your videos come from, and have there been any that were too inappropriate or off the wall to be filmed? Uh, they come from up here because I'm genius. And yes. And yes. This question is from Robert Hazel. Can you tell ass me I kicked in high school. Right. Can you tell me what Robert Scott right. TV is. My bad. What? Can you tell me what Robert Scott TV is and why you named it Robert Scott TV? Uh, Robert Scott TV is awesome, and I named it that because my name is Robert Scott, and you, Bobby, or Robbie C. Hazel, or Robert C. Hazel, should be proud to have a Robert. YouTube channel. I know that, Ryan. Should be proud to have a YouTube channel named after you. That's all I'm saying. I challenge you to a fight. You know why? Because I beat your ass in high school. And, and also another question from. Don't fucking touch me again. <sighs> have you ever considered rebranding the channel to appeal to the masses? There you have it, folks. Good night. What's up? Friends, family on Facebook, whatever. I uh, just wanted to say thank you for sending in your questions. Sorry I couldn't do the 150 Warheads Challenge. We actually couldn't find any here in Palm Bay, but it will happen at some point. I know Ryan's gonna really hate me for saying that, but we will do it. Uh, I'm sorry if I offended anybody, but thank you very much for sending in questions. I love you guys, I love you all. Everyone who's sending in questions, you guys are the reason why this video was made. Stay awesome.